Hey everybody, welcome back. James here with you. And today I want to give you an unboxing video. I did a poll on YouTube the other day in the community section. And uh, you guys uh, really wanted me to get the gauntlet. And I found a way to um, really afford it. So here we go. I uh, just came in today. Uh, shipping was free actually. And um, the deal is so great I couldn't pass it up. So it cost uh, <clears throat> cost me two hundred and fifteen dollars with free shipping. So I got this gun. For, I can't believe it for two hundred bucks. I mean, you cannot beat that for a gun that cost two ninety nine or plus at some stores, depending on. Where you get it from and um, sportsman's guide I've been a member from them for years so glad they had it in stock everybody else was out There we go. The Umarex Gauntlet. Okay, so let's crack it open here or read the box real quick and then I'll crack it open. I got the 22 cal version, 900 feet per second with lead pellets, uh, 60 plus shots, uh, rated at 1150 psi on the regulator. Um, 10 shot magazine bolt action with the removable 3000 psi air tank reservoir adjustable cheek comb sling studs so good stuff sounds like here it is the craze of the PCP air gun world 2017 right here got all the goodies right here registration stickers manual got some tools it looks like it looks like the de degassing tool and the uh, swivel stud tool magazine and then the single shot tray so that way you use those extra long pellets that won't fit in the mag marauder magazine by the way um, let's get it out of the plastic and then I'll show you guys up close Alrighty, here's a close-up view here You see the dovetail rail. That's about the only mounting option you have adjustable cheek piece turn that Once you get a scope on there, you can adjust and raise your scope cheek weld um, It's got a long barrel. I think it's 28 and a half inches Feels like a really long gun like you're you're gonna sweep across like a you're using a shotgun but here's that bottle uh, 13 cubic inch uh, it's 213 cc's I believe and my chief is like 8.2 cc's or uh, 8.2 uh, cubic inches which is 135 cc's so uh, a little bit of a difference and this is rated at 3,000 psi um, <clears throat> but the thing is with the regulator the bottle itself um, you don't have to fill it all the way up to 3,000 psi. That's one good thing. You can fill it above the 1150 psi, and the air will pass the regulator, and you can get shots off. Um, but the bad thing is, to uh, take the bottle out, you have to degas the whole system. So we're leaving air from the whole tank, no matter how much is air is in it. Um, if you want to remove it, whether it had a full amount or under the regulator, it didn't matter or doesn't matter. Um, but you could put a bottle on full so don't know why they went that route but it is a ninja bottle um, these are really super popular in the paintball world um, made by Tipman I believe with a ninja regulator um, 1150 psi regulator but 
uh, the gun can go up to 1250 is what it says right here on the, the actual receiver if you guys can see that 1250 PSI um, but make sure you follow your manual if you're changing anything uh, this can fit any type of HPA bottle like this if you want to go bigger more shots but other than that uh, it's just a hopped up QB rifle in my opinion so I have my expectations set already but already I could tell out of the box I mean this thing is pretty it's already cocked but it's already pretty smooth I mean I've never had an issue with it I seen a video the other day somebody trying to cock it took them 15 minutes which whatever um, but mine like I said of shooting the QB rifle I'm used to it now and it's like it's not it wasn't even that big of a deal anyway but super smooth bolt I mean it works for me um, barrel shrouded makes it quieter silenced and suppressed uh, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is probably after the video I'm going to take the stock off the, the gun to see what how the gun's made pretty much um, to do that you, you follow your manual but it tells you to take this screw out take these two screws out one screw on each side of the uh, block here that holds your valve and all that good stuff and you can pull this gun out and tweak it do your trigger job or whatever you want to do I already have a video uploaded for that um, let's see here pull this all the way back to that second locking spot you put your magazine in that magazine will fit in there and it locks in and snaps. So 10 round magazine. So, and this holds a uh, Gamma Red Fire by the way. I just tested that just to see, so I know the poly mags are too long. <laughs> but anyway, um, make sure you read your manual for everything. Um, just don't get into it, start shooting or whatever, because if you never had one, um, you know, they, there's a process of doing it and Umarex, also known as or partnered with RWS made this gun they tell you to use uh, their lube RWS lube RWS pellets and all that I'm sure that's not that big of a deal but it tells you what to do and all that so make sure you do make sure you read your manual though for um, any process that you do especially um, trigger job tearing it down whatever uh, but I am not going to put a scope on it right away I'm going to shoot it through the chronograph make sure I'm getting the right power. I know some people were saying that their gun was underpowered, so I'm gonna find out about that first before wasting time trying to sight it in and dial it in and zero it in. So, we'll see about that. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video with me. Um, I'm glad I got the rifle, and for that price, I could not pass it up. Um, almost a once in a lifetime deal for me, and a regulated budget PCP, um, that's, that's all for me right there. Like I said, I have my expectations set uh, because of the chief, but here's that degassing spot right there. That's where you degas this gun. I'm going to do a full review on this gun eventually, but for now, I'm just going to show it off a little bit and figure its in and ins and outs and um, see how to work it. But Alrighty, guys. Well, I hope you uh, liked the video and I uh, hope you liked the gun, um, especially the future videos with it. And we'll see you on the next one, everybody. Thanks again.